Prime Minister Harper and, and Rick Norlock talking about the same issues that Rob Milligan and I are talking about and getting relief for average everyday families who are getting hit left, right, and center by higher hydro bills, the HST, the list goes on and on. Secondly, getting government focused on the basics like frontline health care, we just cannot continue down this path we're on of trying to throw money at every problem under the sun. Those are the principles we've been talking about as PCs, and that's why it's going to help send Rob Milligan as next MPP for Northumberland Quincy West. Obviously, Tim's dedicated to not just the government of Quinty West, but Ontario as a whole. And uh, he's getting out there, he's reaching out to the people in Ontario, listening to their concerns, and he truly does care about them, obviously. Uh, he's, he's out here, he's working for the, uh, the taxpayers, and he is is going to give the families relief. So it's just really nice that uh, he's come up to Campbellford and, uh, and he's, you know, he's sharing the... Uh, his, uh, his message, which is, you know, we need relief. Families, hard-working families need, need relief, and he's promising to get that, so, yeah. Oh, no, I, yeah, I feel very confident about Rob's chance. He's a community man, teacher, farmer, somebody who stands up for ordinary, hard-working families, families in Northumberland and Quincy West. I just believe that come October 6th provincial election, people are going to face a choice. Do you want four more years of Dalton McGinty's higher taxes and runaway spending, or do you want change? To change the Ontario PC party that will give average families some relief and get government focused on what's important, like frontline health care, instead of throwing money at everything under the sun. I think uh, the federal election is sort of uh, different in the fact that uh, you know people were, were uh, not happy with uh, the Liberal leadership, and uh, provincially, uh, you know, I'm hoping that that uh, obviously uh, spills some of that anger spills over. I know that um, there, Mr. McGinty and, and his policies are not popular with the uh, majority of Ontarians, and I think there was a little bit of that. Federally, uh, Ontarians uh, are just tired of what the Liberals have stood for um, and, and the policies that they brought in. And so, yeah, I, I, I think that uh, come October 6th, you are going to see uh, some of that uh, still, uh, not anger, but that frustration with uh, Liberal policies uh, boil to the surface again. And uh, So I think it's going to bode well for us provincially. I, I feel very confident about our chances. We have a great candidate in Rob, and I just sense I'm here in Campbellford when I was in Trenton or in Port, Port Hope. Uh, people are looking for change. They're tired of the high taxes, skyrocketing hydro bills, or these tiny smart meters that are nothing more than tax machines. Just want to thank everybody for taking time out of their busy schedule this evening to come. Here this uh, and meet the future premier of Ontario. And don't forget to spread the word that it's not just a change federally that Northumberland Quinty West is going to see in Ontario, but provincially. I was going through the uh, photo gallery uh, today and um, uh, the, the local paper and uh, the look on uh, Mr. Rinaldi's face uh, uh, was one of panic and fear. <laughs> so uh, he, he is expecting um, that we're going to do well and I know that under uh, Tim's guidance and his strong leadership that Ontario can lead and will lead again. Thanks very much, uh, Rob. Folks, I'm just going to say uh, a few uh, quick words tonight and then just get around and say a few more hellos. But great to be here in, in Camelford tonight.
and to say, friends, that it is time for a change to the province of Ontario and time to send Rob Milligan as our next MPP for the <laughs> Before I begin, too, I want to recognize uh, Rick Norlock as well and congratulate him on his point. <laughs> Rick, uh, Judy, and Rob and I grabbed a coffee at Tim Hortons a bit earlier tonight, talked about uh, some of the issues uh, uh, happening uh, here in the riding. But I want to say to Rick uh, as well, you know, being an MP is a demanding job, and it is a big riding to cover a lot of demands on Rick's time, but he has also been there for his provincial friends. He's been there for Rob as well. So for Rick, for your leadership, your dedication to this province, as well as this great country, Canada, we thank you very much. You've been a real soldier there for us provincially, and congratulations once again on your back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back election victory. Thank you very much. Dr. Doug Galt, Doug and I served together 95 and 99 to 2003, back in the days provincially when governments did what they said they were going to do. And uh, before I get to Rob, too, I want to recognize uh, Rebecca and uh, Linda and Samantha that are here. Folks, we know this, and Rick and Judy know this, too. People cast their ballots, not only voting for the person whose name is on the ballot, but for their spouse as well. And often you take up a lot of additional responsibilities, demands in the public eye. So to Rebecca, for your leadership, your dedication, and your compassion, we thank you very much and great to see you. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here uh, in support of the PC cause and change in our province and getting behind Rob Milligan as well. I'm thrilled to have Rob uh, on our team as our PC candidate. You know, both my parents are actually retired teachers uh, as well. My dad was a high school principal. My mom was a special needs teacher. I know Rob's dedication and the affection that uh, people have for him uh, in the community. Also a beef farmer and a family man. The kind of guy that's the same man on Sunday morning as he is on Saturday night. Uh, committed to his family, his community, committed to our great province, and I am very much looking forward to welcoming Rob as the next MPP as part of a PC majority government come October 6th of this year. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm hearing Camelford or, or back home in Niagara, North Bay or Toronto, I'm just hearing more and more from people that they are tired of the out of gas, out of ideas, McGinty government, and they're turning to the Ontario PC party to bring needed change to our province. Change will give average, hard-working families and seniors some relief, a chance to catch up, because far too many families today are one or two bills away from not making it. They want to see relief when they see the HST, they see the hydro bills going through the roof, they see the time of use smart meters, they're saying enough is enough, it's time for change, and the Ontario PC Party will give relief to hardworking families, to seniors, to students. We will cut taxes across the board to help Ontario families spend more of their own money on their priorities, not Dalton McGinty's priorities. <laughs> And friends, it's also time to start showing some respect provincially for the tax dollars that are sent to Queen's Park. We saw that billion dollar e-health boondoggle where money that should have gone to health care went into the pockets of liberal, friendly consultants and didn't help out patients. We see bigger and more expensive bureaucracies. We see the liberal friends and insiders getting rich and average Ontario families being left behind. We are going to restore respect for the taxpayer to Queen's Park. And you see all these agencies, boards, did you hear about the Sunshine List? Those making $100,000 a year more on the government payroll? You know what it's up under Dalton McGinty? It's triple the number of people. 72,000 people. That's basically giving every man, woman, and child in Sarnia, Ontario, a $100,000 government job while well, the private sector has shrunk. That is simply not sustainable. And you know this as well as I do. 
You could probably take any three letters of the alphabet, put them in any order that you want to, and they get some government agency, board, and commission that you've never heard of, but you're paying tens of millions of dollars a year to sustain. Simply can't afford it. In fact, our policy will be to review every one of those agencies. If it works, keep it. If it's broken, fix it. But if they can no longer justify their ongoing value to the taxpayer who pays the bills, you close the doors and use that money for priorities like frontline health care and balancing the books. favorites, the so-called local health integration networks, the links. You know, friends, Rob and I are talking about this earlier. We get frustrated every time we hear from that young mom who had to spend 12 hours in the emergency room trying to help her daughter to see a doctor. Or those adult children trying to get their mom or dad, who can no longer stay at home, a little extra help in home care or long-term care home, they're told they have to wait for a year. But we see these links to date have taken $250 million dollars out of frontline care for these regional health bureaucracies that are nothing more than a bloated shield for the government to hide behind whenever it wants to close down an ER or lay off nurses. Friends, the folks at the Lynn's, they don't spend a single minute with patients. They haven't done a single surgery. They don't even plug in an MRI. And that's why I said as Premier, I will close the doors on the Lynn's and put every penny into health care for Ontario families instead. <laughs> Also, is letting families decide how best to run their households. You know, Rick, Rob, and I were talking earlier on too about these time of use smart meters. I know they've recently come into Camelford and throughout the ride. I think these time of use smart meters are nothing more than tax machines that take more money out of your pockets. I'd like to see the premier go to my mom, senior citizen, and tell her she should get up at 11 o'clock at night to do the laundry. Yeah. <laughs> family can have all the kids showered and fed and ready for school before 7 a.m. when the higher rates kick in. Friends, an Ontario PC government will unplug the mandatory smart meter program in our province and give every family a choice of what works best for them. So friends, thanks for being here tonight. It is great to be back in Northumberland. Quincy West, I know you all worked hard for Rick Norlock. Congratulations on your success. Rob and I are prepared to give you one week off before you start working on the provincial campaign. <laughs> but I look forward to working with you in the time ahead to bring the kind of change that Ontario family needs. Change that will give them relief on their hydro bills, will give them relief on their taxes to spend on their priorities, not the government's priorities. And change that will show respect for taxpayers for every dollar we spend will go into real priorities. Not sex education for six-year-olds, like Dalton McGee proposed, but investing in the classroom, investing in frontline health care. And the change will ensure that our great province, Ontario, is a leader in confederation again. The great engine that drives our country forward. And friends, we will bring that change in exactly 151 days from tonight with Rob Milligan as the next MPP for Northumberland, Quincy West. Friends, thank you. I want to thank you for coming out this evening and uh, meeting Mr. Hudak, next Premier of Ontario. And uh, Tim, we appreciate all the hard work that uh, you do, and, and Marianne, of course, uh, as our riding uh, president, uh, has done in organizing this event uh, this evening, and we greatly appreciate uh, everything she does. She's my second mom. So, uh, <laughs> when Mary has no idea what he's in for. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Jim, we really appreciate you coming down here this evening and Jeez. taking time out of your busy. It's all local and, product too, eh? It is, yeah. So you guys spoil me. Yep. All right, come back next week too. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, thank you very much. Great seeing it. all the moms in the room. By the way, Happy Mother's Day. You can enjoy the weekend. Make sure you keep getting behind this guy because Rob is going to make one outstanding 
MPP for this riding and make a difference for our great province of Ontario. Folks, thank you very much.